Hey guys, Denver James here, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Doomlings Overlush expansion pack. I'm gonna be breaking down how it works, what's great about it, what's not so great about it, and my overall thoughts on the expansion. Let's talk about how this expansion pack works. If you're watching this video, chances are you already know your way around the rules for the Doomlings base game. But just in case you don't, you should know that the object of the game is to score more points than anyone else at the table before the end of the world. You should also know that you'll need the base game before you're able to play with this expansion. That's enough to get you started. The Overlush expansion comes jam-packed with all kinds of zany cards. Inside the box, you'll find four booster packs. Each booster pack comes with a total of 15 cards, which includes seven common cards, five unusual cards, two scarce or legendary cards, and one holofoil card. In total, Overlush includes 56 game cards and four holofoil cards. And due to the nature of these booster packs, no two booster packs are the same, making these cards highly collectible. There are a total of 173 potential cards to collect. When it comes to the types of cards that you can expect to find in these booster packs, such as traits, ages, and catastrophes, you never know what you might find. One booster might have one age card, another booster might have three age cards, or none at all. If you're the completionist type, each card comes with a number indicating what card you have out of the possible 173 cards to collect. It's also worth mentioning that Overlush introduces a slew of brand new trait types, further growing the world of Doomlings. Let's talk about what's great about this expansion pack. Right off the bat, what makes Overlush excitingly unique is the collectability factor of the cards. As opposed to most base game expansions, where you get a short list of specific cards, Overlush gives you the chance to hunt down an array of cards. In this way, Overlush has more in common with Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh than it does with Exploding Kittens and Unstable Unicorns. This alone makes this expansion a standout in its field. It's also worth noting that the Holofoil cards are an awesome touch. Another thing that I loved about this expansion pack is the insane variety of cards. With 60 cards included in each box and over 170 original cards to discover, Overlush ensures that you'll never play the same game twice. This expansion guarantees that your game nights will stay fresh no matter how many cards you out. And lastly, what I love about this expansion is the continued commitment to amazing illustrations. Despite a massive library of cards, each one is authentically designed, ensuring that you'll never get bored looking through your hand. Let's talk about what's not so great about this expansion pack. As I shared before, Overlush has the collectible factor, meaning that the more booster packs you buy, the more likely you are to round out your valuable collection. For all of the card hunters out there like myself, this puts an awesome spin on the typical card game expansion, and I'm sure there's many others that will feel the same way. Still, for those who prefer to buy all of their cards outright, Overlush might prove to be a slightly frustrating experience. That said, this mysterious expansion pack could not be more fun to explore. All in all, Overlush is an exciting and fantastic way to expand your Doomlings collection. The variety of cards keeps the gameplay fun and fresh, while the vibrant visuals ensure that your game nights will never look dull. With the bar having already been set so high, Overlush reminds us that there's still many mysterious treasures to be found in the world of Doomlings. If you're questioning whether or not to explore this luscious expansion, my advice would be to begin the adventure. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Take care and I'll see you around.